What's guys and welcome back to the streets of Barcelona. Welcome back to Taxi Life. Today we have some big, big plans ahead of us. Looks like we're going to need a three-point turn to be able to get in here. This is a bit of a tough garage, but uh, yeah, we are going to be trading in the Mercedes AMG for a uh, slightly different vehicle. Now, when I say big, I'm talking real big. We have a minivan today, the Halcyon. This is an electric van. It's perfect for transporting more luggage and more people. This is the biggest vehicle in the game, and uh, it's officially ours. So we can customize this bad boy. We can tune her up with the enhanced engine for 250 euro. Let's install that for the inside interior upholstery. I mean, I kind of like the brown i mean the white's nice uh, we have messy guests the white's gonna be a nightmare so we're gonna go with the brown there not gonna change our shifter dude i can't believe we're gonna be rocking with the minivan here let's check the outside what kind of a color do we want to go with i mean we could go crazy digital camo we could go a more traditional taxi cab route the yellow doesn't look bad silver metallic flake gold i'm i'm gonna go yellow let's let's keep it classic yellow leds underneath of course you gotta have your uh your underglow attached let me see what kind of updates we want on this i guess we can go for this guy looks pretty good to me we could put a spoiler on there yeah we're gonna have a spoiler for sure you need downforce for this bad boy and then for rims i mean i kind of like the standard rims more than anything i'm tempted to go with these but i might i might keep it classic stage one brakes throw them on there we got a lot of weight to throw around in this big body and then we're gonna have some performance tires on there improved traction especially on wet surfaces of course it put me in backwards are you serious right now all right we're just we're just gonna start her up and hope for the best just gonna send it so this is a an electric van it's the largest vehicle in the game that's a curb we're fine there's a car coming it's probably gone by now it's oh this thing i mean it's electric she's got some torque wow this is a new experience so i'm gonna be honest i didn't know if we were gonna be doing another episode of this game but um i've kind of missed it it's been a few days let me put my blinker on gotta remember how responsible we want to be it's been a few days and i you just come on over there, bud. I uh, I missed it. I missed it big time. I don't know how much content there is left in this game until we get DLC and stuff. But honestly, it's just so fun. Like, I, I genuinely really missed playing it. So I figured we could do something new with the minivan here. And uh, we'll try it out. Look at this. We got some slick, wet roads to test these performance tires out on. So my goal is to try to wedge this thing where it maybe shouldn't be long. I, I would really love to, to try to use some of the back streets and stuff and, and see if we could pick up some passengers way back in here. So let's go for Monsterot Kennedy. Go to pick you up. This is a peaceful ride, man. I really, really like this thing. She handles the bumps well. She's got a really good looking gauge cluster here. Everything's nice and digital. Very short hood, lots of visibility here. Gotta love that. I will say we are zoomed in a little bit on this view. If we use our controller, we can kind of drop it back a little bit. I mean, that helps out. This is a big body, dude. We, we have a couple inches on each side before you start hitting those uh, road markings. So we gotta be careful here and we also Honestly, the upgraded engine might not have been the best idea because we're spinning tires. It is wet, though. This is very new age, but also kind of old school, like a cash cab style. You know, I le like legitimately cannot see here. Uh, this is a bit concerning. I'm going to try to do my best. Obviously, the name of the game today is not speed. We're going to be looking for the most fluent driving we can possibly have, as well as... Just kind of finessing it around curbs. I think curbs are going to be our worst enemy today. So hopefully we can keep damage to a minimum and make our customers super happy. Dude, look at the interior here. We have a full glass roof across the entire thing. I will say, I feel like I, I really like the direction that the automotive industry is going with that. Like all the Rivians and the Teslas and all the like modern day electronic cars, they always focus on huge glass roofs. I mean, look at the Cybertruck, you know, styling aside, I had a reservation. I did not pull the trigger on it. I thought about it. I don't know. I'm, I'm like on the fence 
But uh, the the windshield is so cool. Like it's it's one of the biggest windshields in the automotive industry, and it's just like these cars. Obviously, they're supposed to be good for the environment. Sometimes that's a bit of a question, but um, they kind of bring the environment in to the world around you. We probably shouldn't be going 50 miles an hour in a residential area like this, but we're just trying to get to Montserrat. Got pedestrians walking out all over the place. I'm just gonna keep it real. This thing's gonna hurt a lot worse if you get hit by it, so I would be on your best behavior around me today. She do got some pickup too. Look at this, man. We can get up to a hundred. Dude, look at that, that red beam climbing over there on the left. I love it. All right, three quarters of a kilometer to pick Miss Kennedy up. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is a little bit sketchy here. Okay, we have the right of way. Let's see if we can turn out into this street without hitting anything. All right. Big body coming through. That's what I'm talking about. We might as well floor it and try to ramp the speed bump because we did so well there. And then we could come to a drifting stop at the stoplight. Sorry about that, pedestrians. I have to turn my headset up because you can't really hear this thing. Oh, my goodness. Dude, the van in front of us is kind of getting it. I'm not going to lie. Okay. We... I mean, this thing has some body roll. She's got some momentum happening. Were we supposed to take... Oh, God. I think we were supposed to turn around back there. We just missed our pickup point. It's fine. We're just going to have to make our own path. The good news is here in Barcelona, there's always another customer willing uh, to give you money. We do have a, uh, a bit of damage on the vehicle, so I think we could maybe think about going back to the garage eventually, but we could at least get our first customer. All right, so we've got a couple of warning lights on the dash, but that never hurt anybody. Here we... <laughs> okay, uh, I apologize for the condition of this vehicle, but I promise it is my number one duty to get you to your destination safe and sound. We've got... There's... There, there is something big on the window. Y use wipers. Yeah, I think it... <sighs> It might be human blood, but I'm I'm not sure. Let me let me go ahead and turn the wipers on. I got you. We'll take care of that really quick. I apologize for the condition of the vehicle. It, it's a startup business. This is my first vehicle. I had to buy it from the junkyard. Didn't come like this, so I appreciate your understanding, and I uh, I'll take care of you along the way. Lovely day we're having. A we got a speed bump coming up. Let's slow this down. All right, there it is. Want you guys to be happy and comfortable. Looks like we're going to be taking this roundabout. We were supposed to yield to oncoming traffic there. We're fine. Going to be going left. Did we take care of that windshield problem for you? It appears that you're nice and happy. Let me know if you need the AC up or down or if you'd like any music or anything like that. I've got some tunes playing in my AirPods. I add like aftermarket music to these episodes because the... Oh, it's a green light. The radio is kind of inconsistent and it shuts off and stuff. I have had a few Uber drivers who have AirPods and I'm like, eh, this is like a little sketchy. You know, the sound is kind of a, a big part of driving and you can't really hear what's going on around you. That's a bit of a concern, but I think I'd be more concerned about the condition of the vehicle if we pulled up looking like this. So we're just gonna stay at a cool 70 miles an hour. We have got, got some engine damage and that might be around our top speed, but nobody has to know that. All right, here we are. Oh, halfway to our destination already. We're making great time. Don't you ladies worry. Dude, this thing is a big body. It is kind of hard to keep in between the lines. I'm not going to lie. Let's try to do a little outside driving here. I was trying to move the camera down, but she doesn't want to cooperate with us. Look at that terrible, terrible city planning. Just a green light into a red light. We could do better than that. So far, it seems like we're off to a good start. The ladies are happy with their service. Is it busy for you today? Um, you know, this is my first ride. It's been a slow day so far. Not many people seem to be needing a ride today. That's too bad. I appreciate your service, though, or your, your business. I'm happy to have a more relaxed day today. Oh, really? It gives me a chance to take in the sights and enjoy the ride. It's good that you have a positive attitude towards it. Come on! Yeah, I suppose so. Gonna move on! Goodness gracious! We're all looking to go somewhere today and you're just hanging out doing whatever you want in the middle of the intersection holding everybody up. Come on, let's let's get around this guy. Nobody in our right? Alright, we're, we're gonna pass this guy. I apologize for the speed. 
Just had to let him know. Give him a nice stare down in the mirror. Everybody's always super intimidated when you, like, aggressively pull out and go around him and then have to stop in the, you know, next to them at the next stoplight. Was that him or was it the guy behind? I think it was the guy behind him. I mean, I gotta be honest, I really appreciate their understanding for the condition of the vehicle because the fact that we still have 100% patience this deep into it. Oh! Why would they stop right there? What? What is the point of that? All right. I was looking. I was talking. I was looking at the patience. I was looking at the, the thing where we were going to have to take a right. We lost a little bit of patience there. We're going to be fine. It is going to be A-OK. -okay. This thing is just a big body, bro. I never know how far to cut it. That was actually kind of a, a perfect one right there. Looks like we might be taking a left, so I'm gonna pull up into the open one and let's let's beat these guys off the line. You live your life a quarter mile at a time. Same. Dodging pedestrians. Alright. We made her in. I just love this game, dude. Like moments like this, like looking up, waiting for the light to turn, listening to the the blinker, watching things happening in the rear view. It's really nice. I think this is a one-way street. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I may have just turned into the guy's lane behind us, but. It's all good. I cannot believe how close we were to a 100% drop off. And we missed it because of a tiny little fender bender right at the very end. Dude, the, the van is nice. I'm not going to lie. All right. They're trying to get to the right or to the left. And we're trying to get to the right. How about we just switch spots here, buddy? Oh, he changed his mind. Follow this little Fiat around here. I think we might be taking another right here in a second. We're going to be okay. Saved it. Our brakes are a little spongy. I'm not going to lie. We, uh, I think we did some damage to them and the wrecks that we had. Nothing wrong with splitting pedestrians, is there? I don't think so. Not in Barcelona. You got to take what's yours, man. Otherwise, we're never going to get anywhere. And it does look like we're still just missing that one little fender bender apart from the red light that we just completely blew through because I wasn't paying attention. But that's okay because we have officially arrived at your destination. You're welcome, ladies. Hopefully you have a great day. I need to go to the garage. Thank you for the money. We're gonna fix this thing up. We're gonna go for 100%. This is some much needed TL. Dude, I can't even like turn properly. Like th this thing is, is kind of junked. We should probably take this to the demo derby. We should throw this in Wreckfest or something. Beeman G, I don't know. It's, it's, she's really not, she's not doing well. I can't even enter the garage. Can I, can I please? Are you gonna, hello? Hello? Okay, so she's not in good shape. We are gonna go for a full charge, full repair, full clean. We've got a hard job worth 606 euro for Helen Morris. Don't you worry, Helen, I got you. Let me just make sure nobody's coming. We got a spick and span super clean ride for you. And uh, we're gonna come take care of business. I really like that like mocha interior that we have going on. My wheel has kind of come undone from the, the table a little bit. Let me try to, I can't even reach it with my knee to be able to drive. Hopefully we can drive in a straight line and we can fix this. There it is, we're good, all right. Nice and tight. All right, here we go. That's how we like it. Let me take them around the outside. And let's go get to our girl. We are going for 100% on this one. We got the big body and the tiny streets. Hard difficulty. Let's get it done. It appears that my ways may have given me bad directions, but we're going to be okay. Just trying to work our way through the park here. It looks like we do have some pedestrian barricades that we aren't going to be able to get through, but there's got to be a crosswalk or some sort of opening at some point. Nope, there's more bollards there. But we might be able to get out up here just a little off-roading for you. Here we go. We arrived to our passenger pickup point, and this is where we need to be on our best behavior. She's expecting a lot from us. Ooh, we've got a bit of a sketchy entrance here, so I'm going to pull past it. And we're going to see if we can back into it. Ah, oh, that was clean. Let's go. No rolls either. All right, we're good to go. How you doing, ma'am? Good to see you. Looks like we are clear on the left. So we are going to pull back out and we are going to try to obey 
The rules of the road. Do you guys see any signs here? I don't see any signs. We might have the right of way. That's typically what I want to hear my Uber driver say is we might have the right of way. So let's just go for it. All right. 3.29 kilometers. We've got a 30 kilometer an hour speed limit to start things off. And we are going through the heart. Uh, we're kind of staying on main roads, but then we're going to get into some, some shiftier stuff here towards the end. We're okay. Let's just keep it chill. Keep it under the speed limit and do our thing. We've already lost patience somehow, and I, I legitimately haven't done anything wrong. Haven't touched a tire over the line. Haven't sped at all there. We just went 31. I, I don't understand what you want from me. Is it because I looked at the map just to see where you were going? Because I feel like that's the only thing that changed. We'll work with it. We're okay. All right. Keep an eye for some, some pedestrians. Looks like we're all right. Pull in here. This is kind of a new part of town I don't think we've been to yet. I really hope we get some DLC for this game, man. I hope we get a bunch of new cars. I hope we get more... I, I don't know. Like, I wish there was a more mission-focused thing. Like, I wish... What's the word I'm looking for? Like, it, there is some building of the business, and you can manage some of the employees, and you can buy new cars and stuff. Nobody's over there right now. We're good to go. But it's limited. It, it doesn't feel like it means anything. So I, I really hope we get a little bit more of a career mode, a little bit better progression, I guess, is what I was searching for there. Just kind of a, a little more skin in the game. It feels like we're just taking random people to random places, buying random cars, doing whatever we do. It would be nice to have a bit more on the line. I don't know, give me some lawsuits or something. I don't think I want that, but you guys know what I mean. Like a bit more of a, a path to take. I feel like I'm much better inside the vehicle than I am outside. It is kind of hard to keep this thing between the lines. We're trying our best. This thing is huge. This is a, Especially compared to the other vehicles in Europe. I mean, look at the work van off to our left right there. Even that thing is small. That's like some plumber, handyman. I don't know what that is. But look at all the little itty-bitty cars around us. And then we're in this big body. Got a bunch of passengers in here. A bunch of people we could potentially make mad. Sorry. I got to get my people to where they're going. Going to be taking a left after this. So I'll cut back to the left. Make sure we stay in our left lane. We want to take a right, so I'll get back over here. We lost a little bit for that, but that's a really tricky interchange. I don't mind it too much. Oh, what a lovely evening. How are you guys doing? I guess we only have two people in here, huh? For some reason, I thought outside it looked... Ooh, that guy just ran a red light. Tisk, tisk. I guess we have us in the... Fr oh, do we have... We've got, some We've got three people. There's four people total in the car. There's somebody up at the front seat with us. We've got extra seats in the back, and you wanted to sit next to the driver? Nice to meet you, bud. Good to see you. My name's Trev. I haven't seen any speed limit signs, but you can only assume that it's about 30 through here, which means we've been speeding, which means they're going to be upset with us. It's okay, though. All about efficiency. Just trying to get you to where you're going so I can pick up the next passenger and make the next a buck. That's all you matter to me. Not your good time, your well-being, your welfare, your anything else. Just the fact that you're paying me. And we don't go to jail for hitting pedestrians. Ultimately, that's our only goal. Taking a right here. That's tricky game. I see you trying to get me with the pedestrian just off screen cutting out right as we're starting to turn. I feel like this game purposefully spawns people. Hold up. Let me speed up so she can't get there. We're good. I have to break for this one. I feel like they're in like perfect unison so that when you're going a certain speed, they all like you know what I mean? It's kind of like lights in general. Like if you're going the speed limit and you have a green you're supposed to just hit greens all the way down. I feel like this game does that but in reverse and they're just like, alright gonna send as many pedestrians out to be murdered as we possibly can. Getting back into some of the smaller streets here. Dude, this is so cool. I, I just, I can't get over this, man. Like I said, I genuinely didn't think we were going to play this again, but I truly did miss it. Definitely think we're going to need some more vehicles, though, because we've tackled all the vehicles, tackled a lot of the routes and things, so we need some DLC. Look at this. Look at this absolute nonsense. Come on. Get out of the way, guys. I understand you're supposed to have the right-of-way, but you, you don't got to use it. 
like that. Got a green light right as we pull up here. I feel like they have to have some sort of a plan because the fact that we can't go to some of the big landmarks like La Sagrada Familia and a couple other places, like when you look at the map, you see all this grayed out out here. Like, is this eventually coming? Is this just in development? Because it appears that they have it mapped out. It appears there's a lot more on the way. We just don't have it yet. Looks like we're about a block away from the drop off for our lovely guests here. Thank you guys for a good time. I'm just gonna cut under this guy. I don't really know what he's doing. He's taking a long time to decide about it. I don't think he knows what he's doing either, so. We're just gonna move right through there and then we have one final turn. Not exactly sure. Looks like we're dropping you off on the left. Oh, we've got a problematic drop off as well, huh? We should be okay if we just pull past this up next to the garbage cans. Hopefully nobody pulls in too quickly behind us. And that's a pretty solid drop off. Let's go, baby. All right, that was good. I feel like we lost a couple things along the way for no reason. We ended up getting a five star, $600 fee with a $60 tip. That's about as good as you can do. $1,000. For Margarita Pujol, I am going to accept that and get the heck out of here. I will go pick you up as fast as humanly possible. I have never seen that before. Oh my gosh, okay. Almost wrecked right there, right off the bat. I wanna try to keep this thing in, in ship shape. Shoot, what is going on with my thing? Have you ever had your steering wheel come off mid-drive? It is not a pleasant experience. I don't think I put this thing on well enough to start keep keep going come on i gotta go get to margarita i'm trying to share in that that tequila i i don't even know what to say but she, she's paying us a thousand bucks i've never seen a job like this it must be a big group of people i think that might be what this thing brings us which is actually really really smart i'm trying to make sure my wheel doesn't come off in that episode here come on baby we're in the hardest it's really not the hardest thing to drive because it's slower it's it's if i'm being honest it's actually pretty fast compared to what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just going to be like a big slow behemoth that took up a lot of space, but it's fast and it takes up a lot of space. So it kind of becomes an issue. Hitting a pedestrian here would be absolutely just career ending because we would lose the best job we've ever had. But at the same time, we want to make sure we don't lose this. So let's try to get there as quick as possible. I am literally jumping the curbs and we want to make sure we get turned around. Otherwise, we're going to start off with a bad first impression. So let me just... Pull up in here. What is this? Some sort of a fancy hotel that has all the cars parked out front. Did I actually really like this van? Like minivans aside, minivans can be really sick. Have you seen like a nice modern minivan? They're they're pretty nice, and this thing is extra nice. So I'm gonna do the same thing we did before. Nobody behind us. We're good to go. Pull up past this. Oh. A little sketchy there. Dude, it's really hard to go in reverse. My my brake pedal is like not good. It's it's very stiff, and so you have like full brake or no brake. Those are the two options available to you. So obviously that ends up causing a bit of a commotion. Do we have anybody over there? We don't. All right, here we go. Looks like she wants us to turn around. We are going 4.5 kilometers. We've got four people in the vehicle with us. All right, so we're just going to take a right here. Can we take a right here? We cannot take a right here. Okay, so we're just going to turn around here. Hopefully not hit any pedestrians. We hit a light pole back there. It's, it's not a big deal. It's fine. I misinterpreted the GPS. That was a one-way street. Obviously, we could not go down that way. All right. We've got our work cut out for us. Oh, my God. If we want to try to get a decent tip here, I don't even think we're going to be able to get an A rating, but if we could get a tip on $1,000, that would be huge. The fact that we're even getting a $1,000 drive is, is kind of exciting. So if we complete this, I'll be happy. Let's just keep her nice in between the lines from here on out. Stuck here, looks like we can go. They got the yellow, all right. So we're going to go around the roundabout here. Got to be honest, the roundabouts are really chaotic in this game. What do you think about Barcelona? I think it's drivers are shit. 
Okay, good conversation. That worked out well for us. She also thinks the drivers here are terrible, which is why she's taking an Uber and not driving herself. Got 150 XP for that. That's good. This is going to be our most successful ride yet. We just got to complete it. Which, there's no guarantee because it's still 2,000 meters away. And we have people... Do look, look, look at this. Look at this. Come on! Go! I love that the actual, like, the AI interacts with you when you honk your horn. Go! Here we go. Come on, dude. What are we doing? Somehow our patience went back up. Apparently she really appreciates an aggressive cab driver. So I'm, I'm going to try to get you to where you're going in one piece. But it is not looking good thus far. I mean, we, we do already have some damage. But the fact that her patience went back up is, is kind of promising. This is my kind of lady. I, uh... I appreciate your vote of confidence here. I feel like this is aggressively fast for this street. Dude, what is going on? Somebody just wrecked behind us. This seems aggressively fast, but I'm just going with the flow of traffic. We're going to take a left here. We got to somehow find our way into that left lane. I don't know which one that is. It's this one right here. Nicely done, Trev. Let's go. Okay, probably dropped a little bit on our speed. I'm going to guess like 50 kilometers through here. We've got a bunch of walkways and things you gotta watch out for. So let's just try to keep it chill. We got two cars trying to turn out and they're just stuck. This is Barcelona for you. I'm not gonna be able to back up. I'm gonna roll back a little bit. We have somebody on our right. I could... Oh, they went on the right. Oh, the car behind us is going. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna go. Oh, there's another car coming. Go, 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 go pull out there be assertive be aggressive we're good to go i don't know what happened did they get into a wreck or something back there i'm not sure but we made it through <laughs> there's another wreck behind us did the ai somehow get worse <laughs> i feel like it did what what is this guy doing here just bust a u-turns in the middle something is is afoot here understand what you want from me why would you slam on the brakes right there it's my fault because i'm following too close i apologize for thinking you're a normal human and know how to drive a motor vehicle dude this is ridiculous let me get out of traffic i'm i'm frustrated man let me here let's let's just make our own lane if nobody else knows how to drive neither do we i'm just gonna gonna make my own rules out here got blessed with a reset patience meter because she felt bad for everything we were going through. And then we have that again. Hey, you, you got a, a reset for me again somehow, please? No? That's fine. Just tip at the end. That's all I care about. This is just absolutely outrageous, man. I don't understand what the people are doing in this game. Like right now, I'm following. We're all pulling away from the stoplight, but I'm a little bit nervous that this car in front of us is just going to slam on his brakes. I freaking called it, dude. I really can't. I'm just going to go through we're going to lose a little bit of patience. It's fine. It's not a big deal. We have some sort of an odd drop-off situation happening. Look at that. Why Why are we 400 meters away? Dude, my wheel is coming off. Why are we 400 meters away from our objective, but it's saying that we're 1.7 kilometers away on our map app? We're, I'm just, I'm just going to take them to their, their spot. You know what? Pro tips here. You can't go the wrong way if you're facing the right way. I hit a pedestrian. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I missed this game. I really did. I still miss it, even though it's frustrating. I hope we get some DLC. This was the big body. She was not easy. I'll see you all later. Peace out.